a side-by-side -side comparison of the 2024 Kia Sorento X-Pro and the 2024 Subaru Outback. Feature, 2024 Kia Sorento X-Pro. Starting MSRP, $46,390. Seating capacity, up to 7 passengers. Drivetrain, 2.5L turbocharged i4 engine with AWD. Horsepower, 28. Fuel economy, city slash highway slash combined, 19 slash 23 slash 21 mpg. Cargo space, behind rear seat slash with seats folded, 12.6 cubic feet slash 75.7 cubic feet. Off-road capability, standard all-wheel drive with terrain modes, increased ground clearance, tow hitch. Feature, 2024 Subaru Outback. Starting MSRP, $38,145. Seating capacity, up to 5 passengers. Drivetrain, 2.4L turbocharged i4 engine with AWD. Horsepower, 260 horsepower. Fuel economy, city slash highway slash combined, 18 slash 26 slash 22 mpg. Cargo space, behind rear seat slash with seats folded, 27.4 cubic feet slash 52.2 cubic feet. Off-road capability, standard all-wheel drive with X-Mode off-road driving system, increased ground clearance. Choosing between the 2024 Kia Sorento X-Pro and the 2024 Subaru Outback depends on your priorities. If you need more seating and cargo space, the Sorento is the better choice. It offers third-row seating and more cargo space behind the second row. If off-road capability is your top priority, the Outback Wilderness is the way to go. It has a more rugged suspension, a higher ground clearance, and additional underbody protection. If you prioritize fuel economy, the Outback is the more efficient choice. It gets slightly better gas mileage than the Sorento, especially on the highway. If technology and a modern interior are important to you, the Sorento has the edge. It has a larger touchscreen infotainment system, a more upscale cabin, and more standard driver assistance features. Overall, the Kia Sorento X-Pro is a great choice for a family SUV that offers a good balance of on-road comfort, off-road capability, and technology. The Subaru Outback Wilderness is a better option for those who prioritize off-road capability and fuel efficiency. Rugged is in, and at this point, just about every automaker has an off-road oriented trim, all with names that are trying to give off a suitably tough vibe. At Kia, that variant is the X-Pro, and the Sorento is the third Kia to get the treatment, after the Telluride and Sportage. As hockey great Wayne Gretzky famously said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So we can't fault Kia for adding the off-road treatment to yet another model. The X-Pro trim is a highlight of the 2024 Sorento's mid-cycle refresh, which also earned the mid-size SUV redesigned front and rear ends, plus revised tech inside. Little has changed for the Sorento mechanically, however. Whereas Kia's other three-row SUVs, the Telluride and the EV9, are each offered with one powertrain, the Sorento, like the Beatles or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, has a quartet. Base models are equipped with a 191-horsepower 2.5-liter four-cylinder with front or all-wheel drive, and they feel woefully slow, upper trims. Get a turbocharged 2.5-liter inline four-cylinder that churns out 281 ponies. A pair of hybrids made a turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine with an electric motor to produce a far more acceptable 227 horsepower in the standard hybrid and 261 horsepower in the plug-in hybrid. The latter two launch later in 2024 as 2025 models, while the rest of the lineup is on sale now. Three decades ago, Subaru took the traditional family station wagon and jacked up its suspension to create the almost SUV-like Outback, and the formula has proven especially popular. And why wouldn't it, given the car market's current and unrelenting obsession with trucks and crossovers? The Outback delivers SUV-like styling with a car-like ride and a ton of cargo space. A four-cylinder engine is standard but if you need extra power there's an optional turbocharged 4 with 260 horsepower. All Outbacks come with all-wheel drive and both engines send their power through a continuously variable automatic transmission. Cabin environs are handsome, especially in higher trims, 
But if you're seeking outright luxury you might want to check out rivals such as the Audi A4 All-Road and the Volvo V60 Cross Country. Even so, we think it's likely that some buyers looking at luxury branded competitors will be won over by the Outback's value-oriented price tag and more practical packaging. The Sorrento X-Pro is available as a $1,000 option on the top $47,765 SX Prestige trim and comes only with the 2.5-liter turbo 4, paired with an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. We don't have test results on the updated Sorrento yet, but previous versions with this powertrain have accelerated to 60 miles per hour in as quick as 6.0 seconds and never felt underpowered. A larger radiator fan for the X-Pro increases towing capacity by 1,000 pounds to 4,500, putting it nearly level with the base Telluride's 5,000-pound maximum. New for 2024, the more powerful unit comes standard on all but the base LX and S trims. Unlike the lesser ones, the X-Pro and just sort of off-road Y X-Line trims come standard with all-wheel drive. Upgrading to the X-Pro increases the Sorrento's ride height to improve ground clearance from 6.9 to 8.2 inches, and it swaps the standard 20-inch alloys for a smaller set of 17-inch wheels wrapped in BF Goodrich Trail Terrain T-A All-Terrain tires. On paved Roads, the extra cushion provided by the All-Terrain's taller sidewall made for a comfortable ride. Perfectly suited for eating up highway miles on a family road trip or jogging around town completing errands. Ditching the pavement for the dirt roads surrounding the Rocky Mountains, the X-Pro really made its case. The Sorrento performed well in the slush and mud, especially in snow mode, which sends more of the engine's power rearward. The Outback lineup features a pair of flat four-cylinder engines, a 182-horsepower 2.5-liter is standard and a 260-horsepower turbocharged 2.4-liter is optional. Both mate to a continuously variable automatic transmission CDT, that mimics an 8-speed gearbox to mitigate annoying engine drone. Of course, all Outbacks have standard all-wheel drive, which is a Subaru staple, except for the rear-drive BRZ Sports Coupe. The Outback we tested with the standard engine delivered unremarkable acceleration and lazy transmission behavior. While the turbocharged version was considerably quicker, it was plagued by the same recalcitrant transmission. Still, most Outback owners are more concerned with ride quality and the car's ability to handle light off-road driving. With 8.7 inches of ground clearance and all-wheel drive, the wagon is easily able to navigate inclement weather and even muddy, rutted roads, for maximum go-anywhere capability, select the Wilderness model, which boasts 9.5 inches of ground clearance as well as a beefed-up suspension, skid plates to protect its underside, and a drive mode selector with snow and mud modes. The Outback suspension provides a docile ride, and its steering is accurate and easy to manage on the highway. However, it lacks any athleticism, which might surprise WRX fans switching to the more practical wagon. The wagon's standard engine also can tow 2,700 pounds, while the turbocharged version can pull 3,500. In a segment where steering feel is likely quite far down most shoppers' checklists, the Sorrento's is par for the course. Twisting the drive mode dial from normal to sport adds some extra heft to the wheel but fails to improve overall feel. From a stop, the dual-clutch automatic lurches slightly as it engages first gear, we had quite a few drivability and reliability issues with our long-term Sorento with this powertrain, but once on the move, any transmission issues faded to the background. On the plus side, we didn't notice any excess road or wind noise, despite the all-terrain rubber, and actually found the cabin to be a perfectly suitable conversation pit even when cruising at 80 miles per hour. The refreshed Sorrento's interior environs make for pleasant space to eat up highway miles. The $295 dual-tone, olive-brown leather package and faux wood on the dash help make the attractive cabin feel like it belongs in a car with a higher price, though there's still more hard plastic than we'd like to see. The leather upholstered front seats offer plenty of support and feature both heat and ventilation to keep your bum as warm or cool as you please. EX and above trim swap the second row bench seat for a pair of captain's chairs, which are heated in SX models and above. Unfortunately, third row space remains minimal, with a low seat cushion forcing your knees up toward your chest and making the space a hard ask for most adults. The Outback shares much of its interior with the Legacy, and both have comfortable accommodations and quality materials. While Subaru's cabin design borders on boring, it's functional and has a high seating height. 
Aside from the base model, every Outback has dual-zone climate control, heated front seats, a power-adjustable driver's seat, and copious USB ports. More upscale features such as a heated steering wheel, ventilated front seats, a power-adjustable front passenger seat, and heated rear seats are available on fancier trim levels. The Outback also has a spacious back seat that offers an extra 1.4 inches of legroom compared with the previous generation. Its rear cargo area provides 33 cubic feet of space, in our testing, it held 11 carry-on suitcases with the back seat up and 23 bags with it folded flat. The Legacy accepted 8 and 22 suitcases, respectively, in the same tests. Besides the X-Pro introduction, the biggest change for 2024 is the addition of dual 12.3-inch display screens behind a large, curved piece of glass. One is situated in front of the driver, serving as a digital gauge cluster, while the other is located more centrally to take on infotainment responsibilities.